Now I'm demonstrating here the making of stone ground flour as it was made here in Milford and Granada and in Ameliasburg a hundred years and more ago. Now our model is not made to any scale or pattern, but the working principle is identical to all of those old mills. My name is George Lockwood and I come from Enterprise and I make models for a hobby. The first stone grinding flour mills in the area was built at Apennine Falls, now Napanee, in 1778 to grind flour for the loyalists of Prince Edward and Lennox counties. The buildings were always a building of three floors. This was an essential. They were usually made of stones that carried a lot of weight, and they were usually driven by water. The one in my village was an exception. It was a hundred years later, and it was driven by steam. In the very early days, the wheat was sometimes carried on a loyalist back to the mill, later, of course, by oxen and horses. It was taken in on the first floor and weighed, and some of the mills would not have scales. They would just weigh it on a balance and the miller would keep 10% of the wheat for the grinding of the flour. After being weighed, the wheat was dumped in a hopper on the first floor, and elevators would take it to the very top of the building, where it was returned to a storage bin on the third floor. We see it coming in the glass here. From the storage bin, the wheat went to the smutter. This was the cleaning device. The sieve taking out the large particles, the fans blowing out the dust and dirt, and the screens removing the weed seeds and the sunken kernels. The clean wheat from the smutter went to the shoe, and the rotating red damsel tapping the shoe fed the millstones. Now the stones could be four to six feet across, more than a foot thick, and weigh a ton. The face of both stones were grooved to a given pattern, but the bottom one didn't run, so it's the rotation of the top one that did the grinding. The wheat going in the center, being ground, and working its way to the outer edge, and in this area here, it dropped down, and when it dropped down, it was whole wheat flour. This was returned by elevator back to the second floor to the bolter. Bolting was a separation of the various products into flour, middlings, which were, was coarse ground flour, shorts, which was fine ground bran, and also the bran, which was the hull of the kernel, very light in weight and very high in protein. The products we end up with is, is flour, this would be pastry flour because I'm grinding the fall wheat or the soft wheat makes lovely muffins and tea biscuits. Bread would be made from the spring wheat or the hard wheat. The coarse ground flour was called middling. And the fine ground bran was called short. And this would be a combination of both. And this would be pig feed, animal feed. Coarse bran, the very outside hull off the kernel, very light in weight, but very high in protein, was fed wet or dry, and any farm animal would eat it. The exact principle of making stone ground flour as it was made in all those mills that I mentioned.